gosh. The other thing that makes this so dang satisfying, honestly, would be the soundtrack. I just... The music on this game is incredibly good. Okay, so we've got a couple of cut points kind of on the bottom here. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get to them. Um, hold up. I don't necessarily know what this is going to do, but if I can pop the front off by peeking in here, that would actually come in handy. Okay, so what is this? As the full front, obviously there's the glass. I don't think I'm getting the glass out of this one. I'm not actually which is... I'm not sure which is worth more. That's okay. Okay, but yeah, look at that. That's a much cleaner view of the cockpit. Okay, what else we got? Wall terminal. I'm really glad so far I haven't seen the weird quotas of, like, you know, remove 50 chairs. I found that to be a little uh, repetitive. This feels just a thousand times better. Let's see, panel under the seat can be pulled. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh. You mean this? This little door? Oh! That's the other way you get to the cut point. That makes sense. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. I think my way worked out fairly well. But yeah, you're right. The only immediate problem is this, I think, separates it out into a bunch of little bits. Oh, no, it doesn't. Processing value Hold up. object. Credits awarded. Like some of this no, most most of this goes into the processor. It's like some of it definitely goes into the furnace, but more of it goes into the processor. Uh what am I looking at here? Old big panel? Old big panel. Two. Okay. What am I looking at? Is this loose? It's not loose enough, is the big issue. Okay, do we have any other notable cut points that I can work with? I got a couple further in, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reach them. At least we can get to this one. Uh, let's see. Remove the power cell. And try not to smack it on anything on the way out. Alright, there we go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Hmm. I'm just gonna try and brute force this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I gotta kind of do the same thing here. I'm legitimately unsure how I'm supposed to remove this airlock. I This whole structure goes in the furnace. So maybe what I want to do is actually rip this one to shreds. 
Awkward, though. Two shreds, you say? Okay. Just wait for that to cool down a little bit. We're just we're just gonna take out the seams. There's probably a better way of doing this, but not with the tools that I currently have. Let's see, still cut points on the upper airlock. I don't think so. Oh, there's one. You're right. I think I'm still going to go with this strategy of removing the seams here. Because if these are disconnected, I can potentially pull this op open and pull the pull the rooms apart. Uh, let's see, because if I can do that, I can potentially remove the airlock comfortably. Okay. No, these are still connected by at least a little bit. Yes. Okay. So this will take some finagling, but I'm pretty sure I can just remove this room. Perfect. Near you. Okay. So first and foremost, real quick question, is there anything in here that's worth removing? Ladder? Yes. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Old Buffalo indeed. I've pretty much stopped eating beef lately. You know, maybe I'll occasionally have it at a restaurant. Uh, but I will occasionally buy, like, a buffalo steak. Um, which may seem kind of counterproductive in terms of, like, you know, preserving buffaloes as a species, but, you know, if there's a commercial reason to have and breed buffaloes, then there's more of a reason to keep them around. And less of a reason to be eating cows for kind of the same deal. Yeah, buffalo is good for you. Yeah, uh... At least they're not factory farmed to the extent that cows are. I'd like to look into more of, like, the ethics of the places where I get my meat from, but that's tough. Here. I can buy more tethers. Tethers are hardly an issue for me. Alright. So where the hell? Okay, I'm here. I have no real sense of down, which is kind of the point. It throws me the heck no off, though. Alright. Send this ring, ring off. I guess you should probably have checked if there's an exterior airlock control. The answer is no. Cool. Boy, there's still so much to this. But at least we can get access to to more of more of the ship now. I don't know how I do this faster. Is the thing. Salvage Cut more, secured. I guess. Credits deposited. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's rotate around, reorient myself, because I'm starting to get a little queasy. Processing valuable objects. Credit awarded. Honestly, ah, uh, let's see. I was wondering with all this salvage, and you're not even at two stars yet. I hope 
I hope it's worth a lot. Oh yeah, that's way more LT for ripping apart this sucker. Alright, do we have anything else here? Or can I remove this ring? Looks like I can remove this ring. Okay, cancel that. Let's see. This processor is probably a lot closer. I love the fact that, yeah, I'm removing this ring by ring. It just, it feels so right. Kind of like how with the smaller ships, you, you pull off the sides first. Gorman chair. Huh. Like, you know the subreddit oddly satisfying? Like, that's that's 100% what this game is. Except for it's not oddly satisfying. There's nothing odd about why this is satisfying. Fabric. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Ooh. My grappling gun is in a bad way. That's okay. It'll last me to the end of this contract, at the very least. And then we might want to actually go back to the smaller ships, at least until we have, uh, maybe some upgrades. Maybe not, actually. I don't actually I don't know if I need them. Hey, thank you, Stump, for the raid. Uh, jeez, what were you guys up to today? What day is today? Sunday. I, who, who at Stump streams on, oh, today was Yakuza Day. That's what it was. I was like, no, I know it. I don't need help here, but yeah, it was a Yakuza day. Thank you. Uh, gosh, which Yakuza are you guys on? Let's see, you think the posters are salvageable? Yeah, but they're worth bupkis. I'm not gonna bother, bother, ugh, bother, bother with bupkis. Okay. So, here's a question. How the heck do I remove half of this stuff? I think I might have to get into the butt section to remove any of this, because I think it's all still pretty connected on the interior. Which makes me question, is there an airlock? Yes, there is. Up top. Perfect. Let's see. He want me to... Cool. Yeah, at some point, I need, I need to sit down and potentially play through the entirety of the Yakuza series. I don't know if I'd record the process, though. That's always going to be a... a Electrical damage. And yeah, fine. Oops. Really? Nope. I guess that door console is just is just busted. Alright, let's see if I get anything else. I guess what I'm going to have to do is just rip through this. So were all the ships decompressed until now? Yes, I think de decompression is like a level 5 or 6 hazard. And so I don't have to worry about that yet. We'll get there though. My cutter is doing okay. We'll definitely have to do repairs after this round. Remember decompression being nasty. It was interesting at the very least. I think it was like the first one or two times it got spooky. I think this is just a panel with nothing else on it, yeah? I have no idea which one to send this into. It's like straight up 50-50 furnace or... Uh, furnace or processor, and I Object cannot tell you which is processor. more valuable. I guess we got some more na nanocarbon from it. It didn't give me a whole lot of red, so I think this is the right choice. I 
It was always kind of fun with the decompression, where you just try and brace yourself in a weird spot and then just hit the con controls to vent the O2. It wasn't safe, but it got the job done. So eventually you'll be able to get ships that have been scrapped instead of the ones that have been sitting around for ages. I I don't think they've added damaged ships yet. I think that's on the to-do list. Personally, I feel like that's the sort of thing you could almost procedurally generate pretty easily. Uh, let's see. All you would need is just, uh... I mean, honestly, just uh, procedurally run it through the uh, the demo charge. Like, just run a demo charge or two through the whole dang thing and just be like, alright, and that's where it took damage somehow. Even just chucking in a couple of, like, bullet holes, for example, would be kind of interesting. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. This separated out far easier. I guess that whole airlock section was not held on by the same stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm very much upside down. It's throwing me off. Something fierce. There we go. Okay, whoop. Could have gone bad if there was anything else. Uh, if this was electrified, but it was not. Okay. There we go. What about a salvaging ship that has a hidden exomorph on it? I That would be a really bold play for them to include. And would change the game dramatically. It would certainly make things a lot more interesting, um, but I feel like they should focus on ships and other things first before crazy shit like that. Like, that sounds like the kind of thing that they would do is like an expansion afterwards. Like, after everything else is done, stories in, dozens of ships, custom ships, so on and so forth. Then they're like, hey, by the way, Xenomorphs, and everybody's just like, ah! Okay, do I see any more cut points on this entire structure? I don't think so. There's one more. Oh. Right next to the radar. Er, radar. The reactor. Um, I guess we got a couple back here. UI has seen far better days. That should send it right in. Alright. Another thruster. I'd really like a, uh, an upgrade to my visor that shows the cash value of everything. Okay. So, unless I'm mistaken, this is separate, yes. Let's pull that free. And get a good angle on this. Alright. Nice and key nice and clean. Oh but end is free. That's pretty heavy. I'm gonna give it two. 
morning. I'll have no to go tethers buy some more remaining. tethers, but that's okay. We've almost completely uh, flayed this thing. Okay, uh, let's see. It ships for more popular series. Star Wars ships, Star Trek ships, Babylon 5 ships. Gosh, that would be so good. Okay. Hey, thank you, Madi, for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. How are you all doing? Oh shit, did it go into the... God damn it, it went into the furnace. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I wasn't paying too much of it, uh, too much attention. I probably should have left that for later. But it's fine. Maybe a Star Trek shuttle, but I can't see something huge. I could see them going huge if they really wanted to. It would obviously take a lot of time in development. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of potential um, in this game for having really ginormous things if they wanted to go that far. Okay, so... The main thing I'm trying to determine is... Oh... Let's see if I can just take out the corner bits. Or actually... Let's do the corner bits. Let's take out these struts. Running slight risk with some of this, considering my location. Uh, this is still hooked up, and I'm not sure why. Unless, of course... Okay. Back to my original idea. Look at these little corner pegs. Methinks, if I get rid of the corner pegs, if we're lucky, the whole thing falls apart. Well, we removed some amount. The big issue is the fuel tanks. Oh, no, this is separate now. Okay. Other thing of note is that a l this room specifically goes into the furnace. Let's see, is there anything worth anything here? Eh, not overwhelmingly. I think I'm just going to hack this off. Okay. Not rotate too much. Bango. Shred this slowly. Definitely delicate cuts here. All right, is it loose? No, it ain't loose yet. Good to know that I can just remove this in the future, though. Wait, is it not separate? <sighs> Shoot. Oh, it's this thing. Yep, 
Yeah, whatever, whatever this is. Now they're separate. Are they not? What else can there be? No, they are separate. It just does not want to leave, is the real answer. All right, so in that case, I'm just gonna pull that out. It'll dislodge one way or another. I caused some chaos on the way out, but I don't think it's gonna break anything. Actually, this, this big structure being pulled off is kind of useful. Raw material process. Credits deposited. So as long as that doesn't bonk too hard. I think I pulled it pulled it loose. Perfect. Okay. So big issue is right here. This is connected. Is this connected? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Crazy town idea. Processing valuable object. Damn. Credits awarded. I don't think... Dang it. Hmm. This one's gonna be tough. Oh no, they're not hooked up. It, it's purely this, this structure along the corner that's holding it on. When you all of, all of a sudden see a cut line like that, it's just like, oh. Please don't do that. Please don't do that to me. I just want to cut this thing. So let's just get real close. There we go. Okay, fuel tanks should be loose now. The heck is the barge? Barge is over here. Perfect. Raw All right. Material processed. Credits deposited. Not much left. This is definitely a big ship. And it's probably worth it. Let's see. Caution. Tether supplies running low. I care not. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Let's see. Don't see anything else. And as long as it doesn't get hooked into the furnace with the grav beam, I think we'll be okay. Alright, so let's take a look at the rest of this. Big issue is mainly getting in here and actually extracting the the useful bits maybe there's an easy way of doing it let's check from this angle Because if I can get rid of these seams, maybe we'll be able to get it. Uh, 
Okay. They're still hooked up. Doesn't make sense. We still have these corner pieces. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I guess we just start ripping it, ripping it apart. I mean, question, do we have anything of any immediate value along this seam? We don't. So if I cut really well, I'll be able to really just go straight through it. I just have to line up in incredibly well, otherwise this is going to backfire on me in a really bad way. Yeah, what I want to do is cut this to smithereens. To shreds, you say? What is that from? Like, that's a reference, and I've heard people repeat it endlessly. And I've repeated it endlessly, but I actually have no idea what the origin of that meme. Ah, Futurama, of course. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Damn. How is this still connected? It's not. It shouldn't be. This is dumb. We definitely need a better grav gun than the one we got. Salvage secured. Account this is credit awkward. Applied. I guess I probably should have just pulled one thing into the next and had them kind of impact. Well. Ship salvaged in full. Credit supplied to cutter account. That's okay. This whole thing was meant for the furnace anyway. Note to self, maybe consider exploding the, uh, the electronics first anyway. Come on. Okay. Don't go in the processor. Go into that. That was a bit messy. Uh, did anyone else lose all the frames? Yeah, so when pulling the, uh, the computer to bits... Uh, it apparently bonked too hard against maybe the table, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and exploded. It's like, I'm not even sure how and why anything even had a rem uh, remotely... This poster is still on fire, but I can keep it. Burning posters are considered valuable. We should figure out how much posters are worth. Okay, you. In you go. Okay, did I send something off? I've got a couple of things that are just kind of spinning into the void. But yeah, as far as things to blow up, this actually worked out really well for me. Gave me a lot of room, and all of these pieces were destined for the furnace to begin with, so it's kind of just like... All right, I'll just clean up, I guess. There we go. Okay. And now, we can actually look into this mess. Okay, what else I got? Got a furnace. I have questions about some of the values on these things. Salvage 
Salvage secured. Credits deposited. <laughs> I oh there was the battery pack in there I need to remove those first I'm not used to that well at least it didn't explode nearly as hard as the other one and we have another burning poster mmm look at that art okay is there anything else of any immediate value in here Kind of big no, actually. All right. Time to get cutty. If I can? This is awkward. You need a doctor. I need a doctor. I need a snack and a nap. I'm a hard cut man. Okay, is it loose? Well, that panel is loose. Oh. Where am I? There I am. This whole thing goes in the furnace anyway. I could probably just say, screw it, this room is not worth it. Deposit accepted. Oh, actually, is this, is this room done? Okay, let's stop that. It's apparently... It's not done. Cutter, don't forget your equipment durability doesn't take care of itself. If your gear's acting up on you, best practice is to patch it up in the half. Your tools should be working for you, not the other way around. Okay. There we go. I'll need a kombucha. There we go. Are they loose now? Nope. There's still one object. I think I'm just gonna get more haphazard with my cuts. Salvage destroyed. Don't do that. <laughs> Salvage is destroyed. Don't do that. Don't don't care. There we go. Next time I'll be even sloppier with this. This was kind of a mess. Okay. Speaking of messes. Tethers depleted. Uh, let's see, that should work. Material deposited. Now, small chance some of these rings are going to end up in the wrong location. I think... I think we're okay. So all we have left is this trash room. Hello, trash room. It ain't moving. All right. I... Do I... Do I get one tether? Valuable object process. Credits deposited. I mean, I guess I might as well. Money is kind of no object for me anyway. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. Okay. About a couple of those. Alright. And seeing as I bought a whole stack of tethers just to send this this into the furnace, let's send it real quick. I think I just yeeted that bottle into the sunset. Yeah, it's gone. Bye. I actually got this thing? No, I didn't. Alright. Well. 
Spider-Man away. We. Can overshoot. Yeah. There we go. I can't wait till I have better thrusters. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see uh, the invalid things that I sent onto the barge. I appreciate that. Okay, and then shift. Well, I made six million dollars. I destroyed a lot of things. But I didn't actually destroy that much. Current debt is still obscene. <laughs> Let's see. So I want to check a couple of things, see how worthwhile they were. Namely, poster. Posters, five. Each was worth ten, uh, $2,000. Bottle was worth $300. <laughs> oh, man. Worth it, but I think I'll skip those in the future. And honestly, that only took twice as long as a regular ship and paid a little over twice. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to stand by this statement of not, not really sure... No, that was worth it. That was 100% worth it. Especially if I go faster. And I definitely will. $100 bottles. Yeesh. Congratulations, you've reached one of the major milestones of career progression. Gaining access to the number one cause of death in the shipbreaker profession. Pressurization. Some ships you encounter may or not be pressurized. Or contain pressurized pockets. Reaching these spaces incorrectly can cause an explosive decompression. Which can cause damage to valuable salvage and Link's equipment. Depressurized properly, Lynx advises the use of the standardized atmosphere regulators located throughout a ship. Let's see. Lynx strictly prohibits shipbreakers intentionally using explosive decompressions, so-called controlled decompressions, to enact rapid salvage. Remember that your activity while in the salvage bay is monitored. Note that some ships may come with a damaged atmosphere regulator, which does not allow for an authorized and safe de uh, decompression procedure. Fair enough. Yeah, it worked out great for me.